My background is in mathematics and physics. So when I finished school and went to university, I did a bachelor's degree in applied mathematics and physics. Um, I got introduced to medical physics as part of the uh, undergraduate course. After that, I went to uh, university again and did a master's degree in medical physics. Uh, following that, I got a post on the old IPEM Route 1 training scheme and got my clinical scientist registration in 2011. So I chose HSST because uh, looking within our department, uh, there's a big sort of skills gap between uh, myself and the next senior person who's my line manager. Um, and going forward uh, with retirement within the department, um, it's possible that we're going to lose a lot of knowledge and skills. So the HSST provided an opportunity for me to gain the extra knowledge and skills required uh, to progress through the career structure and uh, it's also looking for a bit of succession planning within our department. To be able to do the HSST you need to be self-motivated, uh, you have to have self-discipline, uh, there's a lot of work to be done and uh, if you don't have that self-motivation it's, it's very easy for it to get sort of by the wayside and not completed. You also I think have to be able to cope well with stress because uh, I say it's a busy programme on top of a busy work environment, it can get very stressful at times. Part of the HSST is a postgraduate diploma in healthcare science management. So I think that's going to be quite an important aspect of it and it's something that, it's a skills that are generally missing within the clinical science environment. Something that um, I would like to be involved in more would be research. So having to do the innovation and research project as part of HSST means that I sort of will be getting more involved within research within the healthcare setting. Now this is uh, one of the biggest uh, challenges of doing the HSST because it is a very demanding program. Uh, what I've been learning over the last few years is that I have to be delegating more work to other people within the department. I have to realise that I can't do everything myself and that um, other people are sometimes happy to take on more advanced work than they would normally be taking because it's progression for them, it's new skills that they're getting as well. So going forwards, um, the, the programme will uh, provide me with the skills and knowledge needed uh, for a more senior management position within uh, healthcare science. Also hopefully provide me with extra uh, knowledge in areas within radiation safety which uh, I may not have otherwise been involved in. My plans for the future are to, um, well, complete HSST, gain the skills management and research that uh, I would like to gain and then um, they're looking into the f further into the future to uh, get a management position um, and increase the amount of research and development that our department does.